In this vignette, we are going to discuss the global public health impact of dental diseases. This problem should not be underestimated as it has a profound impact on the overall oral and systemic health of individuals, resulting in compromised oral function, pain and suffering, as well as potential for systemic complications. Let us specifically focus on two disease entities which play a major role in this area, namely tooth decay and gum disease, collectively referred to as periodontal disease. Tooth decay, otherwise known as cavity or caries, refers to the destruction of the tooth caused by certain oral bacteria. This destruction can be limited to the crown of the tooth, the root of the tooth, or indeed involve, involve the entire structure. When decay becomes extensive, it can penetrate the pulp of the tooth, causing its infection. When this happens, root canal therapy or indeed the extraction of the tooth may become necessary. If you look in the mirror, would you be able to tell whether you yourself have caries? Most likely not, at least not in the initial stages, especially if the cavity is formed under an existing filling, bridge, or beneath the gum line. Caries, which are not addressed in a timely manner, can result in severe pain, tooth loss, partial or complete compromised mastication, compromised food digestion, infection of the dental pulp with potential bone involvement, abscess, cellulitis, and other potential systemic severe complications. To better understand the impact of tooth decay, let us review some of the public health data on caries. Worldwide, close to 2.5 billion people, or at least 36% of the population, have dental caries in their permanent teeth. According to World Health Organization, estimates nearly all adults have dental caries at some point in time. The second entity we will be addressing is periodontal disease, also commonly referred to as gum disease. Periodontal disease is actually a collective name for different conditions affecting the supporting structures of teeth namely the gums, the periodontal ligament, and the bone. Once again, if you look in the mirror, would you be able to tell whether you have gum disease? And once again, most likely not, unless the disease has reached more advanced stages. The pathogenesis of periodontitis will be discussed in subsequent lectures, but it is caused by certain pathogenic oral bacteria, which through direct effect or via provoking host immune response leads to the inflammation and subsequent destruction of the periodontium. Periodontal disease initially does not result in obvious symptoms, which often cause lack of awareness until the disease has reached more advanced stages. The signs and symptoms of gum disease include reddened, swollen, and or bleeding gums, bad taste, and bad breath. In more advanced stages of gum disease, the gums become separate from the root of the tooth, forming what we refer to as gum pockets, and bone loss will take place, resulting in loosening and subsequent loss of the teeth. Let us look at some of the generalized characteristics of periodontal disease. Periodontist is generally more common in men than in women, so about 56% versus 38% of women, it is more common among those below the federal poverty level and those with less than a high school education, and it is definitely more prevalent among smokers. Recent CDC illustrates prevalence of periodontitis in the U.S. across all ages. 47% of all adults aged 30 years and older have some form of gum disease. Periodontal disease increases with age and among adults over 65, 70% and older have some form of gum disease. Research indicates that periodontal disease can exacerbate or be exacerbated by heart disease, stroke, osteoporosis, respiratory disease such as pneumonia, diabetes, and it can also result in low birth weight in infants. As an oral healthcare professional, you have the ability to play an important role in prevention and treatment of these conditions, thereby making a lasting impact on another person's life.